Today's story is Cinderella, the Mice Save the Day. Cinderella imagined herself dancing at the royal ball as she held her mother's dress, old dress against her. It needed a few alterations, but they wouldn't be difficult. If only she could find the time to do them. Cinderella, yelled her stepmother and her stepsisters again. They were getting ready for the ball, and they wouldn't give Cinderella a moment's peace. I guess my dress would just have to wait, the poor girl sighed as she left the room. Jack, one of Cinderella's favorite mouse friends, said, No what, Cinderella not go to ball. Other mice looked at him, startled. Work, 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 he explained with disgust. She never get dressed done. Cinderella's animal friends decided to surprise her by fixing the dress. After all... She had been caring for them for years. Just that day, she rescued poor Gus from a, from a mouse trap. Then she had dressed him, fed him, and protected him from her stepmother's mean cat. So together with the birds, her attic family lifted ribbons and scissors and sewing needles to help make Cinderella's dream come true. Oh, thank you so much, the beautiful girl exclaimed when she saw what her friends had done for her. <laughs> the birds and mice were overjoyed to see Cinderella so happy. She deserved to have a special evening, never complaining for all the endure her from her stepsisters and stepmother. Cinderella hoped that one day she would find true happiness. However, it was not long before her stepmother and stepsisters took hope away from her. To tearing her beautiful dress to shreds. They left her alone, sobbing in the garden. There, there, soothed a new voice. Cinderella's fairy godmother magically appeared. Dry your tears, she said. Dry your tears, she said. You can't go to the ball looking like that. Cinderella started to explain that she wasn't going to the ball, but her fairy godmother wouldn't hear of it. Waving her magic wand, she turned a pumpkin into a magnificent coach. Cinderella and her animal friends stared at the magic in amazement. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, sang the fairy. Godmother soon, four mice, including Gus and Jack, were turned into proud horses as for Cinderella. Her gown shimmered like diamonds. She stood staring at her image in the fountain with disbelief. It's more than I ever hoped for, she declared, her eyes sparkling. When she arrived at the palace, Cinderella swept into a dream world. As she and the prince swirled around the dance floor, everybody turned to stare at the beautiful girl who caught the prince's eye. Who is she? they asked. She must be a princess. None could have imagined that earlier the day she had been dressed in rags and never had cinderella known such happiness as the handsome young prince bowed before her she felt her heart pounding they danced together in the castle garden swept up in the splendor of the evening gazing into her, her eyes the prince leaned to kiss her just as the clock struck twelve when she heard the bell toll cinderella remembered her fairy godmother's warning that the spell would be broken at midnight. She raced down the grand staircase, leaving behind one of her dainty glass slippers. The next day, doing her chores again, the young girl hummed dreamily, realizing that Cinderella's prince mysteriously loved her stepmothers, mercilessly looked her in her attic room. No, please let me out, cried Cinderella. She knew that the Grand Duke was trying to, trying the glass slipper on every maiden in the kingdom. He would be here soon. We've just got to get that key, Jack told Gus. Despite the danger, they pulled the key out of the stepmother's pocket. They pushed and pulled it up the long staircase with the last burst of energy, Cinderella exhausted, little friends were un were finally able to slip the key under 
her locked door. Oh, thank you, she cried. Hurrying down the steps, Cinderella heard a crash. The slipper had left. The slipper she had left behind was broken. Pulling the other slipper out of her pocket, she called to the Grand Duke. May I try this one on? The perfect fit proved that Cinderella was indeed the young woman who, the, who had won the prince's heart. Jack and Gus cheered happily for the beautiful friend, Cinderella, as they watched her dreams come true. The end. And stay tuned for the next story, Sleeping Beauty, which will be tomorrow. Sleeping Beauty, the friendship to fairies, will be tomorrow. Don't know what time, but stay tuned. Thank you, my friends, and goodbye.